Well, I was discussing with Chris that I wouldn't want to pick a fight with any of you. You, gal- oh, you, you girls are, you know, quite know how to defend yourselves. Chris and didn't dare pick a fight. He knew. He's very <laughs> wise to that. Is it fun also to dive into those worlds? You know, the costumes are absolutely terrific. That, yeah. that was also, you know. The it world is unbelievable. Is, yeah, and it's, it's so wonderful. You've done more, you've done period. I've done a lot of period, yeah. but I haven't done this sort of fantasy where it's just a heightened reality on top of that period feel, and it's so thrilling. This world totally allows you to do things that you just don't do for most of your career. So it's, it's a little bit like showing up to like a really awesome birthday party, themed birthday party. Yeah. I remember when, you know, I was told fairy tales. My imagination went to very different places. It was nice to go a little bit off script. This is so great because you're taking known characters and then you, you're making them your own. Uh, how much fun is it? It's great fun. I mean, that was also the frightening thing for me because the evil queen was just so iconic and everybody has an image of her with the dark hair and the collar and, um, you know, I just, I, I, I just really kind of wanted to break that mold as much as I possibly can. And that was really fun. It's also a little bit like, oh God, is that too much? Would people, you know, expect her to look that way more? But there's a real freedom to kind of break away from something so iconic and turn it on its head a little bit, which is, I think, our, what our aim was on the first one. Yeah, and then this one too, I mean, you know, an ice queen. It must be so much fun to say, you know, I'm thinking ice queen. I am the ice queen. It was really cool. And I loved the, you know, the hair and makeup and the whole shebang was really fun and sort of transporting to become this person and who looks nothing like how I normally dress. And um, no, this is just me on a Friday night, isn't it? It's just... I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> and her on a Friday night. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much every night of the week. Yeah, people have asked us if our children were at all put off by us in these dresses, and my child made absolutely no, had no had no reaction whatsoever. It was a little suspicious. It was suspicious. It was a little Pe- suspicious. Pe- people were like, isn't she scared of you? I was like, not Why even is she remotely. acting like this is mommy? <laughs> been part of your upbringing uh, and are they going out of fashion or is it something you also tell your children you've started telling Jackson yeah he's he's really into princesses right now but I think he's a little he doesn't quite understand the full concept of a fairy tale yet Um, because they're dark and they're complex Mm -hmm. and I think they can be frightening you know so he just kind of chooses the stories based on the princesses that he want to really just look at the pictures and then sometimes I just kind of make the stories up where I double page them (laughs) <laughs> just to get through them. Be quick. Mark. They're very long. They are. Some of them are real. And I think some of them, like, I find um, the language is a little too complicated for the, uh, it's too, too complicated for me. Like, sometimes I'm just like, <laughs> what does that mean? I feathered the die. I was like, I don't understand what is going yeah. on right now. They were cautionary tales for kids. Yeah. At so their they're, core, they're, yeah. You know, they are actually very dark and they were used to kind of warn children about the big bad world and um, what to avoid and to and I think um, yeah and I think that they were complicated emotionally and um, and had quite quite a lot of depth and I think we're in a different generation now where we want to protect our children from knowing about all of that kind of stuff you know um, but I think uh, I think they're a little dark right now for my two-year-old maybe yeah I mean, I, I will say I'm impressed because I feel like this generation, the kids are growing up with a really a great amount of um, children's films made by Pixar mm. and Disney. And it's just, a, it's a new, like I go with my kid, you know, every time there's a new one out. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with the storytelling because mm. it's not as simplified. And I feel good about it because it does, you know, some of the, I'm sometimes bawling my eyes out. And up, do you remember? Up, up, but you know, blew me away. Inside out. As Inside well. out. I haven't kills seen it yet. Me. Is it great? Inside out. I my son literally goes, Mom, are you gonna cry again? <laughs> like it's brutal. I can't get through it. Like I, I'm literally like tearing up talking about it. <laughs> Look at you. It's it's devastating. Really? Oh my god, yeah, it's devastating. Oh my god, I want to see it. Now.